Welcome everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trinity Trigger. Welcome to the first first look video I'm making for the channel and it's gonna be about this game. I've been seeing trailers, videos, pictures like months and months uh, on it and it really intrigued me because it reminds me of Secret of Mana and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. And I thought, I wanna see uh, how it plays, how it is. So I thought, why not make a first look video? That way we can experience the beginning of the game, see how it is, what do I think about it, the combat, the story, the music and everything, and give you a taste of it too. And of course, if the video itself is watched enough, liked enough, who knows, maybe we'll make it into a full flesh series. Because that's up to you. I will do the first look, one episode of Trinity Trigger, just to show you how everything is, how everything works. And like I said, if it's popular enough, we'll make it into a series. But for now, let's just get straight Trinity into it. Trigger. Yes, Trinity Trigger. New game, definitely. And to me, the, th the one thing that really stood out was that it reminded me so much of Secret of Mana, but let's watch the intro. Long ago, in the age when myths were born, two divine factions waged war for dominion. The gods of order, led by Solius of the Sun, value law and obedience. The gods of chaos, led by Ofnir of the Storm, reveled in freedom and unfettered change. War consumed not only the celestial realm, but also Trinitia, land of humans and beasts. Holy weapons rained from the heavens, transforming the world with their power. They split the sky, riled the seas, shook the earth, but the dust settled with no victor. Ooh, animations. That looks really good. That symbol in the eye reminded me of Lelouch. You know if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, uh, morning already? Uh, I feel like I was dreaming about something. If only I could remember what. Oh well, guess it doesn't matter. Nope. Morning, Sai. Breakfast is ready. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out as we go by looking everywhere, talking to everyone like we always do in an RPG. Uh, thanks, Fearn. Be there in a sec. Ah, basic controls. Move with the left stick. Use this movement to move the character. Characters will begin to run after moving continuously for a short time. Review story objectives in the adventure log and travel log in the main menu. Open the world map in the adventure log to confirm an objective location. You can also use the adventure log to review tutorials. That would be very useful. Science room. And it looks like we got some type of charge cage, okay. Hey! So this is the monster encyclopedia. Maybe I should give it a read? Alright. I could use a reading break. Monster Encyclopedia 14. Jams. Ah, the humble jam. A species familiar to even novice scavengers. These monsters have existed since ancient times, turning up in various spots throughout the pages of history. In fact, 
The unique longevity of these creatures has bolstered our own. Consider the healing potion, a staple for any adventurer. Did you know, dear reader, that the primary ingredient of most potions is... Jam ooze? An unscientific term, of course. However, jam secretions are indeed used in the potion brewing process. These critters are known for their soft, squishy bodies, which are vulnerable to just about any kind of weapon. Yet, one must be cautious. Jams, which tend to travel in packs, can and will squeeze through the tightest of cracks, crawling quite literally from the woodwork. Many careless scavengers have found themselves overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of facing these wiggly, jiggly fiends. When exploring the armor, one must remain cautious, even in the presence of such humble enemies. This is the key to a scavenger's survival. By Eins Wood. Yeah, and what I really like to uh, see is can we make those texts instant? What should I look up? That was actually <laughs> really slow. Uh, let's. There is no option. Oh well. Ah, we'll deal with it. No problem. Items. What do we have? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> We're just getting started. Encyclopedia. Does it get filled with the messages? Ah. We'll learn as we go along. All right, and it is all right. Our menu, do we have an equip? That's a map. Pretty clear. Oops, almost forgot something on my desk. Checking things. Check appears over anything you can examine in the overworld. Press this button to investigate. All right. Off to work I go. The item ring. With the left uh, bumper, display your consumable items. Consumables fall into four categories. HP recovery, status ailment cures, buffs and boosts. Check your inventory under items in the main menu. Very basic, but also a little bit of a ring, as we know of Secret of Mana. And yes, I might refer to it a couple of times uh, through this first look, but it's clear why, isn't it? <laughs> I think a lot of people will have that same uh, frame of reference, I'm sure. And we'll decide afterwards uh, how close it will be. All right. <laughs> if any, of course. Always gotta be prepared. That's what I have this for. Ooh, a thousand cash. That's just uh, quite a lot to begin with, to be honest. But we won't know 100% for certain until we are at the store, cause if everything costs like 800, a thousand is nothing. If everything costs eight, a thousand is a lot. So we, we need a little bit of a frame of reference, I guess. Front room, no sign allowed. Really? I'm just getting started. <laughs> I'm not even allowed in that room. Really? You really outdid yourself today. I really do like uh, the art style of the characters in this uh, little bit. Reminds me of uh, old uh, fantasy uh, artwork. I, I don't know why, like Final Fantasy Tactics and such. I know, right? I worked my butt off to cook as well as you. Wait, Cyan, that thing is back again. On your eye. Huh? Oh, the mark. Might have been that weird dream I had. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll fade away eventually. It's bigger than last time, though. And it has a different pattern, too. Seriously, it's fine. Doesn't even hurt or anything. <laughs> Enough about that. Let's eat. Okay, so it has different uh, hey, hey, looks to it, different this formations. Isn't half bad. Hmm. You've really improved. You mean it? For sure. It almost tastes like food. 
Damn. That sounds a bit cruel, to be honest. You, you jerk! <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want. You're gonna rave about my food someday. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Can't wait. Really, though? I don't mind cooking for us. You don't have to go to all this trouble. Yes, I do. Without mom and dad around, I've got to make myself useful somehow. I mean, I appreciate it, but... Besides, I need to know how to do this stuff if I want to tie the knot someday, you know? What knot? Between us, or...? Because what is Fern to him? Friend? Family? What? Tie the... Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You're not even seeing anyone yet. Yeah, but... Well... If I never find my special someone, I suppose I could just settle for you. Uh, are you even listening to yourself right now? Oh, come on. Don't be weird about it. It's not like we're actually related. Alright, so they actually aren't related, so it is possible. <laughs> I mean, come on. Don't I get a say in this? Like, at all? No, no, no you, you, you really don't. What's the matter? Am I not good enough for you? No, it's not that. Hey, hey, I'm just kidding. Lighten up. Isn't it about time you went to work anyway? Ooh, are we gonna work outside and uh, fight some monsters? Because I wouldn't mind experiencing that as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll head out now. Okay, have a good one. I'll definitely try. Oh, it looks actually kind of nice. A little bit simplistic graphics, but it's definitely not bad. I kind of like it. Root roost. <laughs> A lot of people walking around. Uh, you, you know what that means. I have to explore. Oh, good morning, sire. Morning! Off to work again, I see. No rest for scavengers, eh? I can't imagine braving the armor every day just to find materials worth selling. I know it's decent money, but is that money really worth the risk? Yes, definitely is. Because being a scavenger means he's his own man. Yes. <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. And a newbie like myself can't go to any dangerous areas. Well, word has it that shady folks were seen near town. Thieves, maybe. Stay safe, okay? Ah, foreshadowing. Thanks. I will. Uh, the minimap and buildings. The minimap appears in the upper right corner of the screen. You can turn it off under options. It's uh, If treasure chests are present, it will list the number that remains underneath. Display full minimap, press the back button. Use this button to display the full map. Store objectives appear in the upper left corner of the screen. Open the full map to see updated objectives. The town offers various as service. Buy or sell items at shops. You can also use materials to craft items. Buy or sell crafting materials and manatite at the vert workshop. Whatever manatite is. <laughs> Sleep at an inn to recover your HP and remove status ailments. Save you game in shrines, which you can find in towns, the overworld or dungeons. Alright, all pretty decently basic stuff to an RPG. Leave via the north exit. Uh, we will... Ooh, this, this is actually a lot bigger from the inside than from the outside. Dang. Alright, anything for, of interest here? Nothing? Such a big shed for nothing. All right, let's have a quick look. All right, so we need to go up north. I wonder what the hell happens if we go out south, or if we'll stop ourselves. Hey. Off to work again, I see. And no rest for scavengers, eh? Don't work yourself uh, to death. You hear? Little friends depending on you. 
Ah, okay, so we, if we click once, the full text will come out. Okay, that works for me. See you around, Sai. Be careful, okay? Oh, I will be careful as much as I can. <laughs> Quick look if there's nothing else here. I do wonder if there are items in pots and pans across the entire town, like barrels and such. Because this is a stable of old RPGs. I wonder if they will be here. Hey! Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Wanna play? Hey! Um, no. I have to work maybe tonight. Hello. Welcome to Woodrust. Keep uh, heading north and you'll hit a shop. To the south, you'll find the inn. Ah, <sighs> oh, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for the good harvest, but these weeds are out of control. <sighs> okay, so far everyone has one text. That makes it very simple for me. Oh, uh, uh, all right. Hello. Time to set out. Even if uh, I mean I have to face monsters, I will become a great scavenger someday. Mm. Not gonna lie though, I'm pretty scared. Uh, fresh Trinus Herb. Nice. So shinies are already everywhere. <laughs> They're definitely everywhere. Leva. That's the currency. So we're already stealing from everybody in town. Hey. Ah, so this is the Monster Encyclopedia. Maybe I should give it a read. All right. I could use a reading break. Monster Encyclopedia 28. Blooms. Blooms are monstrous mobile plants that actively search for prey. The bite is powerful enough to crush armor, and some are even poisonous. Blooms use their vine-like appendages to ensnare their victims, which put dual blade wielders at a disadvantage. Axes can easily cut through them, but the lone adventurer may wonder just how many weapons am I expected to bring on my travels anyway? Imagine, dear reader, a weapon that could transform to suit one's every need, if only such a thing existed. By Einswood. Einswood knows a lot, doesn't he? Hello, dearie. Oh, hi there. How's friend uh, been lately? Hello, dearie. Hello there. Uh, welcome. All right, they're stealing their money and reading their books. I think it's time for us to move along. Welcome to Woodrust, blessed by the god of harvests. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Astrum. Pardon. A rookie can't handle what's ahead. You should team up with another scavenger or two if you plan on leaving anytime soon. Okay, so that's the area we're not supposed to go because we are not professional enough. <sighs> oh, I just can't stand ooey gooey monsters. Whenever it gets rough out there, you just come on back to the inn. Let's see. You know, the monsters around these parts are actually pretty tame, relatively speaking. Are they? I haven't figured that out yet, but I hope to do that soon. More money, good. How's it going? No, oh, welcome. One night is 120 liba. Would you like to stay? Nope. Hmm. hmm, I couldn't sleep the other night, so I decided to go for a walk. And that's when I heard it. A rustling noise behind the shop. I wonder if I'd find any treasure there. Spending the night? Welcome. Take care. Take care. Okay, so is he hinting that there is treasure behind the store? Ooh, right. The RB is the ring and the LB is the items. Okay. I was thinking, can I turn the camera? <laughs> okay, so it does seem that this is fixed. I don't mind that. As long as I know that it's fixed. <laughs> uh, my boy is always running here and there, swinging around the tree branch like a sword. Hey! Hey! Vanguard! I'll just be as strong as you someday, Mr. Cyan. Ah, uh, well, strive to be better, I suppose. What's up? Oh, good morning, Tom. Right. Well, I'll be. Cyan, fine morning to you too. Off to the armor again today? Yeah. Oh, you know me. <laughs> I gotta scrape together what I can, so Fern doesn't stress about money. <laughs> Ha, ah, look at you. Working so hard at your age, you're doing Miris proud out there. Hey. Oh yeah, did Ma tell you the latest about some shady folks hassling scavengers? Um. She didn't mention that. Just who are they? Uh. Oh, no idea. So keep your wits about you, okay? Here, I got you a little something. 
I see something. An item recipe? Right. Try making yourself a potion at uh, the item shop. It's like your dad always said. Hmm. If you ever start feeling overprepared, then you haven't actually prepared enough. <laughs> Wise words live by, if you ask me. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. You're always looking out for me. <laughs> ah, don't mention it. I gotta take care of each other, right? Now back to work. After a little nap. Later. Yeah, so quickly we're getting a lot of tutorials uh, straight from the All beginning, right. just to get into things and how things work. So now we have item crafting, so we definitely have to try that. Well, to the item shop, I guess. It'll be a waste if I didn't uh, use this. That is true. Um. All I need to do is give the shopkeeper uh, the necessary materials. Crafting items. Crafting items require recipes, materials and liba. You cannot create anything for which you lack the recipe. Okay, so uh, gathering recipes in one way or another is going to be very important. Welcome. Unless crafting is just something extra and not the main thing, but we don't know that yet. Hmm, hmm this is just between you and me, but uh, I saw the innkeeper sneaking out real late. He's got to be hiding some kind of treasure. Hiya. That's the second hint we got from him that there is a treasure, one from the innkeeper and one from this uh, shopkeeper. There is something for us to find, is there? Uh, potion and antidotes, I'm not gonna buy anything yet. And of course, we got the items to make at least at one time a potion. So this is supposed to be cheaper, because I think it was 200 or 300, and now 75 per piece if we use the items that we have. Success bonus and major success bonus, type two. I wonder if that gets better uh, the more we try it. And we only have one aqua gel, so only one potion. All right, let's see. Success bonus plus one. Oh, so it means uh, if you're lucky, you get more of the item you're trying to make. You get free stuff. I always like free stuff, this is good. Hiya. All right. Welcome. We have some great stuff for sale. Come on back, all right? Yeah, yes, we'll be back. As long as we have more items and more materials. Hello. Well, have you been to the store over there? It's where I shop every day. Well, if they have good products, then I probably will as well. Ooh. Fuba leaf. This will come in handy. And 500 cash. That is double nice. Residence. Hello. As peaceful as uh, our town may be, the armor is still dangerous. Okay, so armor is the outside world or a certain area in that outside world, but I guess we'll figure it out soon enough. As soon as we leave town, but like I said, I always want to check out as much as I can before I leave a town. Grandma, come on, hurry up. Pardon, dear. Well, if you visit the shrine each day, you surely receive the goddess blessings. I might as well. Okay, saving is really quickly, so there's no need to not do it. Fuba wood. And all these extra materials is a good thing, because if we craft in this game, then we want to craft a lot. New shop coming soon. Need Menatite? Leave it to the Verde Workshop. <laughs> Love that picture on the sign. <laughs> yeah, especially the eyes. It's perfect. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Anya from uh, Spy Family. Alright. I'm guessing it's time for us. Nope, we got still got one or two houses left. Wood Roost Pub. <laughs> they call me the know-it-all. My family has passed down Trinitia's history for generations. Would your children care to hear the ramblings of this old good? Actually not, but I think it might be wise. <laughs> Seeing as we're gonna go out uh, for the first time. Then allow me to share a folktale. Hmm. Ah yes, the gladius to the northwest. It fell from the heavens a long, long time ago. Some people think our armor as a huge tower, but true to its name, it resembles a sword. I know not who wielded it, but after the great blade fell to earth, 
trees grew in abundance around it, eventually forming a dense forest. Indeed. We attribute this phenomenon to the Arma's influence. Alright, you're uh, ever in the mood? I'll be happy to spin you a tale. Well, we'll come back later see if you have something new. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> this is the life! Okay, more money. All right. Well, time to drink the night away. Hello. Scavengers often visit my shop, and they're all great people. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing like a cold one after work. That is true. That is true. A cold one always sits right. Hey. Oh, strong hey, yeah. wind today, huh? Fellow scavenger, doing well? Oh yeah. Ever heard of a monster encyclopedia? Apparently, it has twenty-nine volumes in total. <laughs> Who has the space for that? Uh, we do, so we're gonna find all of them. We already found two, so we have a great start already. The Gladius. Sup? Ah, nice job finding me. The name's Gabriel. Secret spots and hidden paths exist throughout Trinitia. Keep an eye out for them. I keep a low profile when traveling due to... Uh, <laughs> uh, circumstances. But if you ever run into me, feel free to give me a holler. Oh, I know. A single to let you know when I'm around, like this. Okay. Pretty good find. A potion. Still don't know how he singles us, but uh, we'll learn. That's probably a symbol on the screen that I failed to notice. It would not be the first thing that I noticed little changes, but yeah. I think a few times backwards and forwards into town, I'm sure we'll recognize it and then we know what to search for. But for now, let's head out and see if we can do some combat. So, ooh. All right, need to stay focused until I reach the armor. That is true, that is very much true. But like I said, we've now seen a few mechanics, like how the shops work, the inn work, uh, crafting system, talking to people. We know we can skip text, that's a really good thing by the way. And we see a few potential things that are gonna be in play later, but we don't know enough yet to make an assessment about that. And we are having our first collectible, which is the Monster Encyclopedia, which I really like. Because how can you play an RPG without having some uh, collectibles in there? So yeah, definitely. But for now, let's see if we can figure out how the combat works. Because this is, of course, an action RPG. Ooh, it's a slime. Uh, as in a lot of uh, old-time RPGs, slimes are often one of the first ones. I could use some after-breakfast exercise. Might even get some materials to sell. Attack and synchro gauge. Uh, attack is A. Okay. Use this button to attack with the weapon you've equipped, unleashing up to three consecutive attacks. You might land a critical hit that deals extra damage, as indicated by the numbers in yellow. Each attack drains the blue synchro gauge above the character's head. Attacking after it reaches zero will greatly reduce the damage, as indicated by the numbers in grey. Okay, so when the gauge is empty, you walk away. <laughs> Try to evade the attack while your gauge loads back up. I get that. Since it automatically replenishes over time, use this gauge to turn the tide in your favor during battles. Damage number's color changes according to an enemy weakness. White is normal, red is effective, and blue is resist. And yellow is a critical hit. This will appear if the attack is completely nullified. It's basically like, like we're bouncing off the enemy, alright? I guess uh, we'll have to fight. Yeah. And of course, ridiculously weak. I almost forgot to grab the spoils. It's slimes. They're supposed to be weak. <laughs> uh, item drop and experience. Enemies may drop items upon defeat. Move close to automatically collect them. Destructible items like weeds and rocks in the overworld may also drop items. Defeating foes uh, fills a white gauge. Fill completely to level up, which also completely restores your HP. I don't mind that. Alright, I think the first low lob is gonna come rather quickly because they want to show us this is how it works when you level up. <laughs> I 
Ooh, Whoa. an ambush slime. That was way too close. Dodge the bee. Roll the uh, dodge enemy attacks. Dodging just before an attack hits results in a close call, excluding status effects attacks. Close uh, call B. Pulling off a close call refills the synchro gauge. Signed HP hitting zero will result in an immediate game over. Ha! No! Yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's that. Now, let's see. A drop of life, huh? Guess I should heal myself with it. Okay, so green orb. Okay, this reminds me of Nino Kuni, because they had like green orbs for health and blue for magic. Orbs of light dropped by defeated enemies will partially restore HP. Use items. Uh, A. Select an item on the item ring to use it on a character. So I used LB to make it come forward and then use it there. Uh, register shortcut. Register frequently used items to a shortcut. So basically put them on the ring. To register a shortcut, you can register one item per category. That's fine. We'll figure it out when we have multiple items to choose from. The Encyclopedia. Read about enemies you defeat in your Encyclopedia, located in the Adventure Log in the main menu. You can use it to review their drops and weaknesses. Okay, so next to information we're learning in the books around towns, we also get information by actually fighting them. Which I'm pretty sure we'll do a lot because we want all the materials. Well, at least I, I do want all the materials. Not that I'm greedy, but I do want them all. Okay, what you're gonna do? Wood roost forest trip. Ah, oh, did we finally get here? Are we through the tutorial area? <laughs> Okay, that doesn't feel good. Don't usually get quakes that big. Is something going on today? Must be the thieves we uh, heard about. Maybe they exploded something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Feeling stronger now. No message for leveling up. Oh well. Yeah. It's always better to level up than don't. So, if there's anything important, I'm sure the game will tell us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with two strikes uh, for kill, it should be not too bad. Ooh, we can help multiple enemies at once if they're close enough. This will come in handy. Yeah, don't miss that. Oh yeah, and it did b uh, boast by uh, a lot of hidden parts and items. Like on the map, we see like a brown tree trunk, so we might be able to get through there. So let's keep an eye on that. Ah, huh. something seems off today. Yes, I noticed Maybe that I already. Take a look around. Definitely. Didn't expect to find any treasure here. Did someone drop it? Nope, I think they hid it. Probably the thieves. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Uh, discovering secrets. You may encounter things that seem off during your adventures. Examine your surroundings carefully to find treasure chests or powerful monsters. Pretty good find. Oh, either way, if you find anything, yeah. it will be mine. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We do not want to go in there yet. What's here? Yeah. There's an opening. Potential items. Yeah. <laughs> we can break anything yeah. if we can, are allowed to use our sword. <laughs> That's basically what the game is telling us, isn't it? Ta. Except for rocks. Which I can understand at some point. Alright, what else do we have here? Yeah. <laughs> it's covered in unfamiliar letters. Some sort of ancient language? Ooh, an interest chest. In Divine extract. Ooh, we really need to pay close attention everywhere. So, if you're watching and you're playing it uh, together with me, if you see an item in the background, do let me know if I missed it. Because uh, that's how we find everything together. Pretty good find. 
but I will of course do my utmost to uh, find them. And if you have played through the entire game, of course, as always, no spoilers. Not just for me, but for other people watching it for the first time as well. Ooh. How's your ship going? Did we already reach the end? Hey, Cyan. Going back to the Gladius? Now that's dedication. <laughs> just trying to earn as much money as I can. For fear's sake, you know? I know. <laughs> I get that. Really, I do. But that place? Heck, every Arma is infested with monsters straight from the Age of Myths. You scavengers gamble with your limes every time you explore a divine weapon. Oh, okay. So the woods was not where we scavenge. It's this gigantic stone weapon that we're going to go into. I, I thought it was going to be easy uh, in the forest, but uh, yeah, it's going to get a little bit harder in there, isn't it? Well, just let me worry about that. I won't get in over my head. Promise. I sure hope you don't. A scavenger crawled back on Death's door earlier, so you better keep that promise. Well, technically you can't keep a promise to not get killed, cause the moment you realize you're in over your head, it's already too late. But... Intentions... do matter at least a little bit. <laughs> hmm... What a big earthquake. I hope it didn't cause any major damage. Even places you find familiar can undergo almost imperceptible changes, so proceed with caution. Okay, so things happening in the story can change up areas as well, so keep exploring old areas. That's what I hear him uh, say in the background. Hello. May the gods' bountiful blessing make the Gladius' monster weaker than those in other armor. But watch out for the yellow wasp. Their stingers pack a serious punch. All right, that's a warning if I ever heard one. This will come in handy. Yeah. Do so I'm guessing those bees will be trying to poison us a little bit, which they are more than allowed to. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see a torch or a spear drawn on it, and I only have a sword at the moment, so let's leave that. <laughs> Can't swing my sword indoors. <laughs> Uh, I hope I finish to change that, because then I can be all full on Link and destroy all the pots that I see. Because we're already stealing from people, might as well uh, break their pots as well. Why not? Okay, so we just activated the shrine. Good. Alright. Now we have three slots, might as well use them. All right, let's get inside, see what we can find. Ah, actual dungeons. What? We're still feeling the effects of that earthquake. Careful, there is some debris up ahead. Hey there. Hey there, are you. Working hard as always, I see. Once I'm done exploring, I'm off to the inn. You may already know, but areas with lots of uh, greenery prove that our arm are still active. The armor's influence sometimes causes wall to suddenly crumble, so be careful. Thank you for your concern, huh. and of course, your hidden tip. Uh, what are these? Teleports? Yeah, I, I'm thinking that these are ways to get back to the ground when you get higher up. I assume, of course, but uh, we'll find it yeah. out when the time gets there. Stronger now. All right, we've got a little bit stronger slimes. We need three strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning yeah. that they can now uh, have the opportunity to attack me. So I think we're about to start using dodge. I yeah. uh, think. Huh. <sighs> what a mess! That must have been the earthquake from earlier. I think it is as well. Uh, I guess I could break through it. Kind of a pain, though. Well, as a main protagonist, it can always be a pain. Destroying obstacles. Attack obstacles like rock and walls in the overworld to destroy them. Huh. Every wall? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay, so if there is at least a tiny little crack on the wall, we need to uh, <laughs> check it out and see if we can destroy them. Alright. I thought I saw something suspicious, so... 
Uh, now we have to look everywhere for other cracked walls. Okay, be careful. God, I do want to survive as long as I can without any need for healing items. That way we can first... Uh, oh, sticks! Careful. Kind of slow for a slime, but... Well, technically not kind of slow for a slime. You are slimes. You're like the bottom feeders of uh, RPG enemies. I'm sorry to say that, but it is true. Uh, I'm sure at some point I'm going to eat those words. And, and I, they're going to get a boss with slime and it's going to say, You've been talking bad about me, haven't you? <laughs> Alright, the fabled enemies that has very terrible stings. Alright, first one's not too bad. But that's just to uh, let my guard down, isn't it? Feeling stronger now. This will come in handy. Every level I gain, I'm sure I will be stronger for it. Having said that, all right. How can I check my st status? Like, is there an equip screen somewhere? Ha! Not so far, but I'm pretty sure at some point uh, we'll learn. dead end for now maybe there's a wall we can break uh oh <sighs> never seen anything like this guy before but if i've got to fight it i will <laughs> oh yes we will all right our first boss ha yeah ha Let's uh, make some room. Destroy everything we can in hope for free items. Yeah, yeah, you keep at it. And I will stay out of your way. And of course, it's the first boss, uh, don't expect anything too bad. This better not collapse or anything. No one's been here yet. Then I'll probably find some treasure worth selling. Alright, more area to explore. Stop yeah. scaring me yeah. with you coming into screen. Ooh, that sounds a bit nasty. Oh yeah, that definitely has a chance to hit me. Better be careful on that one. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good find. Okay, your shards. And ooh, careful, 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 careful. Damn, you coming into the screen just uh, startles me a little bit. Oh, I thought it lost the uh, strike. Oh, the gate was uh, no longer full, and that's why I did so less damage because I assumed that my hit would have taken him down. All right, that's a lesson I heard, learned the hard way. Good. Okay, so there's two types of stairs. One I had to go through a wall, and the other one that's already there. So the one through the wall seems more like optional. So I'm gonna go there first. Let's explore a little bit more. Perfect. Pretty good find. More money. Oh, so much money. I wonder what we're gonna spend it on later. Probably a lot of creation with all the materials we've uh, collected. Can't hide anything from me. Well, I'm pretty sure you can hide something from me, but that little wolf. 
<laughs> didn't go past my radar. This will come in handy. Potion. This will come in handy. Fine. Lots of different stuff. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because with lots of different stuff, there are lots of different things we can potentially make. Yeah. Oh, that that looks very suspicious. Is gonna move on up and block me in that room with a lot of enemies, doesn't it? No? Come on, where are the RPG tropes? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, they're ranged combatants. Careful. Shoot me. Thank you. Alright. Range fighters, okay. Like I said, we are learning lessons and adapting ourselves in the process as well. Ancient relic and red shrines. This mysterious time-worn device lets you buy, sell or craft items. The items available change over the course of your journey, so check it every once in a while. Red shrines in armor function differently compared to the blue ones in town. If you come across a red shrine, use it to restore your HP. Okay, so it's giving me anything I need uh, to survive our first uh, dungeon attempt. Because it knows we have yeah. to learn... Oh, that's the wrong yeah. button. There it is. Okay, and now do we open up you or are you a way back for us? Because that could definitely be it. Alright, let's have a save too. For our final slot. Ooh, alright. So, I'm gonna leave our first look episode here. I'm pretty sure when we go through that corridor, we're gonna get another boss fight. I just know it. And if you wanna see that, watch this video as many times as you can. Like it. Subscribe and all that and who knows maybe in the near future We're gonna make a full-fledged series about this and what did I think about it so far? Well in all honesty It's a little bit uh, Simplistic so far, but I don't mean that in a, as a bad thing like things are well enough explained a lot of tutorials for the beginner stuff Combat is not so hard, but let's be honest. We're just starting out if they would throw us in with enemies so hard that we only get frustrated, a lot of people will uh, stop playing the game. So I get that and I'm hoping that the further in we go, the harder the enemies will get. And maybe the more different attacks we learn, the more interesting it becomes as well. So far, the attacks, the dodging works perfectly fine. Music, serviceable. It's not really that pronounced anywhere, but... It works fine. It's not annoying me. It's not too quiet that it's completely still while you're fighting or when you're going through a town. So, more than happy with that. Visuals, I like it. It's not too uh, complicated and it's not ugly at all. I actually kind of enjoying it. When I'm in a house, it gets a little bit too close that the textures fail a little bit. But from this distance, like you hear, see, like here, I really do enjoy that. And of course, the ring system. What is there to uh, not like about it? It's, it's, I haven't used it yet because we haven't had no need for it. So I'm hoping that if we get the chance to make a series out of this, we can play around with that a lot more. And we already discovered this one that we didn't have a tutorial for, but we're gonna get multiple weapons. I think that's what the game is telling us by showing us this. All right, so, so far, pretty good. Bit simple, hope it gets harder. And I'm very curious for where it goes from here. And like I said, if you want me to make a series out of this, like the video as much as you can. And hopefully I will see you on another first look or on the actual series of this game. Till next time. Bye bye.